Hello people, hope you're doing great. This is V and welcome back to my channel. When I'm watching Naruto Shippuden episode 486 and 487 today, well I'm watching this right after I've watched episode 484 and 485. I was super excited watching those two episodes and the pacing was so good that I kind of missed out little details so I went back and re-watched them all over again. <laughs> so the last episode was actually ended on a cliffhanger. A really good cliffhanger. So Sasuke and Uruchumaru are looking for this guy, Eno Yashiro, I think so, that's the name. Um, who had this guard called Fushin, and Fushin is responsible for these human bombs who are attacking the Hidden Leaf village and the other village as well. Hmm. So we don't know what's happening all over the land of fire, and Sasuke is investigating the whole thing with the help of Orochimaru. So I'm really intrigued. Let's watch further. Well, I'm really loving the Sasuke episodes that we are watching right now, getting a chunk of Sasuke. <laughs> Much needed though, right? Much needed. So yes, I am thoroughly enjoying them. Let's dive in. But if you're new to my channel, then do subscribe and drop some likes and comments on this video. Alright, let's go. Oh, part three, Fushin. Okay. Oh yes, this is exactly where we ended the last episode. This is the president of this arena, this whole thing, this part that's happening. Yes, he was turning into the human bomb. He still hasn't mic this actor. <laughs> like he's still saying stuff in the mic. Oh, Sasuke to the rescue. While this person was turning into the human bomb with his Sharingan, he can rescue him. Oh, he did. Perfect. That was a good job done, Sasuke. Think that Sasuke would use his shotting gun to save someone? Yes, he's a changed himself. man. <laughs> or Ojumaru is in shock. Okay, so there are more human bombs. Many, many people are turning into human bombs. Wow, even this lady. Leave this one to me. I think. I won't be able to save. Oh, Yamato. Can contain the damage. Yamato is here! Oh, Yamato is doing his wood style to control all those human bombs, but Sasuke cannot save everyone through Sharingan. And Orochimaru is like, I couldn't care less. No, Orochimaru is to rescue too! Orochimaru is trying to help out! Orochimaru doing some good deed that is so crazy to think about. Oh my god, Orochimaru is a changed man too. That was fast! Who threw that? Who threw that kunai? Wow, okay, someone over there. This is Fushin or this is um that guy, Eno Yashiro? Oh, is that your? Oh my god. Imagine that Sasuke is saving people like that. It is surprising and shocking. I guess that I just didn't expect you to save me. Aww. Me too, but then he's a changed man now. You need to tend to that wound. Uh, yeah. Oh, she's a little... Those exploding humans are the same as the ones that attacked the leaf, huh? So Fushin is here, right? Because that's how uh, he's actually doing uh, that him. visual jutsu. So I'd better go now. I can't imagine that he'd take the time to stick around after yeah, all this. Yeah, while there are human bomb threats all and around. since the match ended midway, there won't be a name tag transfer ceremony. Hmm. Who's this guy? A random guy speaking. Who's that? Well, speaking Sasuke, with Orochimaru. And Oyashiro's asked for you. Oh, he did? I'm going to go and get this wound cleaned up. Well, I assume that you know Yashiro should be intrigued uh, with Sasuke's presence because Sasuke is kind of infamous. That is how they introduced him. Like you know, someone who waits the war at the Five Kage Summit, and he's one of the world saviors along with Naruto, and he's the last Uchiha. So definitely. Um, People would be interested in meeting oh, him, well, especially hello. someone who's an arm dealer. I am Oyashiro. Oh, nice to meet you. He looks like a hippie. Are you sure it's the right man? Is this guy really an Oyashiro Orochimaru? <laughs> There's no mistake. Even Sasuke is suspicious. Yeah, he has kind of you know weird look. It's been a long time. Mr. Doesn't look Orochimaru. like an arm dealer. All right. So what is going on here? I don't recall you being someone who'd appear in front of others like this. He is interested well, in Sasuke. Well, what I saw out there was very interesting. Mm-hmm. I would assume so. Although, it was a real shock to see humans explode like that. They're just like them, right? Like the exploding humans that attack the hidden leaf. Oh! Do you know about that? How does he know you about that? You can't be in this business if you're not on top of what's happening in the world. 
And I'm the one. After you, isn't that right? They're after him? This okay, time, I did not think that? about it. So they I were attacking Hidden Leaf for Sasuke? Sense. They attacked the Hidden Leaf Village because I was their target? The man creating the exploding humans was apparently once a guard of yours. What? No way. That kid, huh? He oh. belonged to somebody else before me. I think he was born on some small island in the land of water. Why do I think it's gonna be another sob story? Well, isn't that the way it always is with Keke Genkai? Just by being different, people despise you. It's so almost true. like you lose the fight the moment you're born. We've seen that story happening to many, many in past. That's why I bring all kinds together in my guard detail. What I've even done is had all but one person in the clan killed. Mm -hmm. Wait, did he just say that he had all the people killed in the clan? I just want to. I've even that done back. is had all but one person in the clan killed. Mm -hmm. Oh my God, he is a psychopath. If I didn't know medical ninjutsu, I probably couldn't have tamed so many of them. He took some other kids and just ran away. I still wonder why he would have done that. I mean, oh my I fed God. him every day, and I even gave him an allowance. He even gave him an allowance, like, you know, such a big deal. So when I saw this guy introducing himself in the beginning to Sasuke and Orochimaru, I, I got like this good vibe. I thought, okay, he looks like a hippie character, but he's in arms dealing. I wasn't like completely sure of his character at that point of time. But now the more conversation he's having and in very casual manner, he's saying that how he killed all these uh clan members with Kekke Genkai except for these kids that he took under his wing. He seems, he sounds to me more like a psychopath. The way he's speaking about it very normally is shows how comfortable he is in his skin uh, after murdering all those people, like after taking those lives and then the way he's saying, I gave them food, water, shelter and allowance as well as like it's a big favor that he was doing over those kids. He's definitely a psychopath or a, and a sociopath. The beauty of creating a character like that, I, I, I should actually commend the uh, makers of the show because you would always think a villain character, uh, someone who's doing all kind of arm dealing would be, you know, someone in the suit with some bodyguards around him and, you know, some huge person uh, who looks shady to begin with. But this person looks very normal, very casual person, but he has this twisted brain. So this is how it is in real life, too. Enough. Oh. Sasuke had the enough. Machine have crimson eyes. Crimson yeah, he eyes. saw that when he was trying to see memories of one of those uh, victim oh, of that human bomb. Oh, mention it? Ah, uh, one of the kids who ran away with Fushin did have eyes like that. But yes, in the beginning of these episodes, we did saw two people, two people casting that visual prowess to that traveler. I've forgotten. Then remember. Uh, Boy, you're really harsh. <laughs> really? That other kid was from the Chinoike clan. The Chinoike clan. What clan is that? Just tell me. Well, it makes sense that it must be more than one people the doing this. Of ruthless Jutsu. competition between Hashirama Senju and Madara Uchiha. Those well. The Chinoike clan possessed the KK Genkai known as the Ketsuryugan. Ketsuryugan. Okay. They lived in the land of lightning. That's why the gang is called Lightning Blade. One of the Chinoike clan women was to become the concubine of a feudal lord from the land of lightning. Shortly after taking the girl as his concubine, the feudal lord became ill and died. It's her fault he died, said his consort. Huh? He's narrating the story like that? <laughs> Those who knew oh, the poor Chinoike woman. clan's unusual genetics were quick to throw their full support behind the widow's claim were banished to a place called Hell Valley. The to whole that, clan. The widow decided Hell to Valley. the Uchiha clan. What did you say? What? They were the only ones who could resist the Chinoike clan. So the Uchiha mm. clan, who were themselves persecuted by the Leaf Village, had inflicted persecution upon another. That's so ironic. The Land of Steam. Yeah, it Are makes sense. Ready? When you go to Hell Valley, you might know more. I don't know yet. You know, I'm rooting for you. Best of luck. He's definitely a psychopath. And we have to get rid of them pronto. If a convenient explosive like that became more widely used, then I'd be forced to shut down my business. <laughs> it's all about money and business. 
Sasuke is like literally super mad about this whole conversation was happening around him. Like two psychopaths he's dealing right now. Orochimaru is one of them for sure. You said just as guilty. Isn't that right? Huh? Except. Except. Are they gonna follow him? So what happened to Orochimaru? He ain't coming. Hell Valley. Hell Valley, you yes. See, I just knew that you weren't gonna tell me. <laughs> he did? <laughs> that where the person making exploding humans is? I want to see this hell valley with my own eyes. Because he wants to know how Uchiha clan can persecute another yes, clan yes. with visual prowess, no, he no, might find more details. Uchiha. Yeah, because kind of he is on his journey to repent. And the sins that he is repenting is just not his, but the whole Uchiha clan. So obviously this is again one of the uh, added uh, goal in his journey. However, I wonder that why haven't we heard about this whole clan and this Tekken and Kai in all the 600 episodes that we have watched so far? The one making the exploding humans is after me. We came all the way here together. We aren't gonna desert you now. I mean, come on. I just uh, don't understand the motivation behind everything. Just to avenge that one uh, woman, like that uh, girl that gave them food. They're just coming after Sasuke and following him throughout this journey. It just seems like too much motivation. Well, Sasuke had that effect on people. People just follow him without, you know, even questioning much. We've seen Karin, Sugetsu, Juho doing that previously. Oh god, these people are just walking by Sasuke Uchiha. Oh! All of them! Exploding humans. No, Archie, let go of me! Sasuke can heal all of them. You guys are done. But one thing was really surprising. When they were walking past Sasuke, they were all normal. I didn't think like they looked like zombies. But then suddenly they turned into zombies. So maybe that, that the jutsu that they are doing... Oh! Okay, so whoever is pushing is just hiding nearby because he turned those people into zombies and then he threw that uh, kunai at Sasuke and Sasuke got that, you know, Suzano's uh, arm to save him. That was brilliant. Well, I also forgot that Sasuke is missing an arm himself, right? It's not cloaked in chakra. Oh! Oh, that was such a... Nice throw, man. That was like accurate. Sasuke is so amazing. Oh, this is Fushin? Finally. No, you're not Fushin, are you? I'm the Lightning Gang's leader. I, I possess he the is. Sharingan. He's like immediately shutting him up. Your memories with I have more edge over you, so shut up. But this, he looks like awfully weak to be the leader of a Lightning Blade gang. Well, I'll say the same thing right back at He's you. running away. <laughs> And there you go, that's a real lightning blade. <laughs> Buddy. <laughs> lava style. Rubber wall. Ooh, he has lava style. My boy Sasuke needs another arm. Rubber ball. Whoa. Here I come. But why isn't he using his uh, red eyes? He's doing all sort of stuff, but not the red eye thing. And the Rasu. Ah! <laughs> he doesn't know! Well, you haven't... Well, you don't know your uh, enemy properly. You haven't studied him. I just love how Sasuke is pulling out his different Sharingans one after another. Oh my god. You don't have to talk. I can, I can watch everything. I can look into your brain, so... I want to borrow your power. Fushi. So he has a boss. So someone else is doing it. This Sasuke guy think that I'm going after him. Is that it? Oh! This man! He is! Where's the chakra sword you threw? It's the same as the one you threw at me in the bamboo village. Oh, that is how he recognized him. So, if, what about that girl? Is she also in into the whole thing, the whole ploy? So, uh, that means they both were after Sasuke to begin with. Oh no, he's gonna turn into human bomb! Get, get away from him, Sasuke! Everything's so disgusting about them. No, he didn't turn into a bomb. You're and right. the clothes shrink. Now you're looking at who I really am. 
Oh, it's the same person, but like a smaller version. Wow, that was some plot twist. So now I'm wondering uh, everything that we've seen so far. So that is... Now it makes me question that little girl as well. Well, I'm like, she's not a kid. She is definitely older than Sasuke. And I don't know how come she is still a kid. Maybe there that's some kind of a trick as well. And also, you know, I remember now when Sasuke was looking into the memories of that um, one of those guys in that village, the first village that he was in, um, he he saw, um, what was um, that? He saw actually this uh, girl, uh, this guy's uh, daughter that he was trying to save was the last person that, that daughter, uh, his daughter was, was this girl, was this kid. Uh, and I, I think I pointed that out even in that episode that, oh, she's the last one that she saw. And now, even now, when those, um, five or six people were like walking by, it was, um, this girl and this guy, this huge guy who now turned into this, uh, smaller version, Fushin guy, they both were, um, just behind Sasuke when this group passed by. And I like, I noticed that this group was perfectly normal these uh, these people were and suddenly they turn into those zombies so these two people these are the two people that even uh you know yashiro was talking about that they ran away from his um place and they are turning people into those zombies they both are into in this whole thing and they are after sasuke I guess they both belong to this clan that, uh, you know, Yashiro was talking about. And because Uchiha clan destroyed that clan. So they are trying to take the revenge from Sasuke. And that's the reason that they followed him all this while. To learn more about his skills and his visual prowess. And then probably find a, an opportunity to kill him. And, you know, avenge their own clans. That makes so much sense. Okay, let's watch the next episode. Okay, the face off. Where did the girl go? Where did she hide? I'm going to make you tell me everything I want to know. I wonder if you can. You don't know you're messing with Sasuke Uchiha. Oh! Oh, he's making a snowstorm. And that uh, chakra kunai. Oh, whoa. Those, those kunais are quite effective and those like, they're like, kind of like dipped in some kind of, some kind of explosives because the the way it lands it, there is an explosion and he's trying to trap him into this uh, snow storm that he's building a tornado that he's building and sasuke has been like uh, getting a hard time dealing with it because uh, in my opinion like sasuke is so oh yes he pulled out a susano but like yes that is what i would assume that sasuke is so skilled he fought kaguya and like you know how much chakra he has and kind of visual prowess he has he has a renegade. This should be like a piece of cake for him. I'm not done. He fought literally an alien. And then Madra Uchiha and Obito. I don't know. This guy doesn't even hold a um, 1% chance in this uh, battle. Sasuke is gone. And right in the middle of the storm. In the eye of the storm. Oh my god, I'm so enjoying Sasuke. Oh man, this was brilliant. There's my man over there. Oh, he is done yeah. for. Okay. Yes, it's time that you start talking. You don't need to. Sasuke will look into your brain. So, so funny to see him without an arm. He needs to go back and get that one of those artificial arms that Sonari prepared. What's that? He, he, even last time, he was some way, yeah, twice. oh, it's a trick, okay. Yeah, even last time, he was inside some water, some water kind of a thing, and then he came out of it. But this time, it's more than water. And those eyes, those crimson eyes. Okay, so he used his genjutsu to counteract this genjutsu, okay. Wow, his eyes bleeding, so it took a lot from him as well. And the Fushin guy disappeared. A random traveler. Hi, do you know where this is? Oh, right over there, just across that mountain. It's just behind that mountain. So this is Hell Valley. Oh, and why this is called Hell? Because it's stinky and full of steam. The Chinoike clan really lived here? In this, this... Yeah, we sure did. That girl. 
Oh. The Uchiha clan forced all of us to come here. We had no choice but to settle in this place. By the time I was old enough to understand, I was already living in Oyashiro's mansion. So then, you were all alone. And he understands that loneliness, right? Because Sasuke was all alone in his life, and so was Naruto. What? You actually care? How he does. He ch is a changed man, girl. All right, then let me show you. <clears throat> oh, she's gonna use a genjutsu on Sasuke. But lots of other kids like me were at Eno Yashiro's mansion too. Hmm. What's the matter? Don't forget that if you don't win, you're going to go hungry. That was the condition. <laughs> so they all were like pitted against each other. You know how we have heard this about Sai and his brother too, right? How they were trained in foundation. She's behind him. What did she do? And her eyes are bleeding. One of, oh, and they all are eating together after fighting like that. Oh, because he was the medical ninja. He did say that. So he healed all of them. He was making those kids fight in this arena. Uh, Fushin was her opponent. That is how they met each other. So we know Byakugan, Sharingan, Renegan, and Katsuyugan. And this is what I'm talking about. Like nobody realizes it that she's behind them. No, they do, but. Oh, so she frees people up. That's why they are unable to move. This is a kind of Kenjutsu where she throws people up. Kalesia. Okay, so that that is how they met, I guess, and I don't know if they will become friends afterwards. Oh yeah, Fushin is now here because she won. Okay, yes, he hates her. Oh, you're really strong. You mocking me? <laughs> no way, I swear it. Because of this power, people feared me and kept their distance from me, hmm. so I was shunned and treated horribly. Well, story of everyone's with Kekigen Kai. I have no memory at all about anything before I came to this place. Ah, uh, so she doesn't know her mom and dad or any siblings or any of the family. You're fortunate. Me? Because it's pointless to have memories if you don't want to remember them. Yeah, if they're sad memories, but at least they are some kind of memories. I was born at least in you the know. Land of water, not on the mainland where the hidden mist village is. But on a poverty-stricken island nearby. Still, I lost to a brat like you. <laughs> oh, she's crying too. Despite all of that, I'm still envious of you. Because he has memories. Like. Having no memories is like you all. don't know your past. You know nothing about yourself. It's better than being empty like me. Exactly. <laughs> At least he knows he he can despise them. He can hate his parents, but he knows where he came from. This is the first time I've spoken about myself to anyone else. Oh. And the first time someone's tears have actually moved me. That's good. So they connected. They In bonded. The end, we were both assigned to Eno Yashiro's bodyguard detail. And we started working together. An old historical document about the Chinoike clan. Ah, she was looking for that. She wanted to know more about her clan. That's a record of that. Let's go to Hell Valley. We may find your kin from the Chinoike clan. Oh, that's why they ran away. If you go there, you won't feel so empty anymore. Oh, so they use use their different Kekigen kind. They targeted others who also wanted to get out of Oyashiro's mansion, and we all escaped together. Is that their whole gang of lightning really blade? So, we ran towards Hell Valley. All of you get to make a living by selling crude bamboo knickknacks like this one. <laughs> Oh, this, this is, is that people. Enough. Okay, we'll this is the village, together. Bamboo Village, where they were, where they met Sasuke. <laughs> okay, so I think this this group saved all these villagers. Get me out of here! Hurry. Thank you for saving me. Please stay and keep protecting us. Ah. Uh -huh. uh -huh. uh -huh. Oh my and god, and they also have that symbol on their Every clothes. Time showed up somewhere. They give us food and shelter. And but why didn't this uh, old guy recognize her when she was uh, with them? Like when Sasuke met him. I'm sorry. 
But we haven't been able to go to Hell Valley yet. For now, let's keep working hard for these people. Ah, uh, okay, so she kind See of they both found purpose here. Anyone, and yet wielded power. Kind of a cutscene, right? The, end of the previous Mizukage, the Hidden Mist was one of our valued clients. Oh come on, loosen up! What's <laughs> the matter? <laughs> <laughs> no, wait, please, just hold on. So they drink them. Okay. Thank you for saving me. You're correct. Oh, so they, so they betrayed them. Okay, that's why they were on the run. And that's when these villagers didn't help them. Okay, I get it. That's why they attacked them with those uh, human bombs. Will you let us rest here just for a while? If we give you safe harbor. We'll so while they were bringing them team. money, they were happily Please, harboring no them. But now, the yeah, they didn't give them safe refuge Everything when they needed the most. The they wouldn't even give us water. Our wounded comrades died. Eventually, it was just Fushin and me. And that was the third person that they actually uh, seek help later. There's okay. Else that we can go now. Oh, they did actually. Okay. And they found nobody here, just death, blood, water. And she was horrified to see that sight. Okay. I still can't remember my mom and dad's faces or anyone else's. I still so more villains with soft, sad story. You cannot hate them for what they're doing. Pursuers from the mist. Again? They followed them here? And we have Akatsuki music in the background. Just let go, you damn... Oh! What the hell is this? Oh, that is that is how oh it evolved. Her visual prowess evolved because it's all about that emotional drama that she was facing. She faced in that minute, and that is how it evolved. I didn't know I could do that. Now she knows. That is why they were ostracized. I will get my revenge. Cycle of pain. We are back in the cycle of pain. All over again, the same story revolves. Oh my god, so again, it just feels like this whole four episodes that I've seen, last four episodes, is again, it's, it was a new clan that we see, a new Kekegenkai we see, and the same kind of similar sad story where they were ostracized, they were outcasted, and it was really, really um, it was surprising to see that Uchiha clan actually um, waged a war against this whole clan and kind of, you know, uh, and then pushed them uh, to this hell valley. Um, it was really, really uh, surprising to hear that part because um, Uchiha clan was one clan who has faced this since the beginning of times. And, and to think of them doing to another clan what they were facing, I don't know how to even explain that in words, like if there is a, a, a analogy for that. Um, and Sasuke, whereas he's trying to repent all those sins and I can totally see in character development of Sasuke from this person who was so mad about everything that was happened to his clan to this person who was trying to repent for sins of his own clan, like what they've done in the past and um, I mean, he said to this girl that, you know, being a bystander and not doing anything is also like, you know, uh, uh, adding into the fact that you're also the same kind of, uh, you're also one of the sinners because you're just not doing anything against the whole uh, injustice. So there is definitely a different Sasuke that we see in these four episodes is completely transformed. We can see his emotional development as well. So far, I'm really intrigued with this new plot that has been introduced in these last four episodes and all that of Sasuke that we have received. Really grateful and happy about it. Well, next episode gonna be a single drop and that I guess that is the kind of conclusion of this uh, new story plot that we see. I think so. This is it for me. Wrapping out here, do drop your likes and comments on this video and do subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And all my reaction videos are available on Patreon much earlier than YouTube. You can also send me a high five on Instagram or Facebook. I'll see you in the next video. Until then, bye.